Hey, hey, Sarah. Uh, it's Chuck. Don't be mad at me, but I may or may not have called Sydney on the ring phone so she would track me here to the Bymore. It's a trap. My trap. You told Sydney to go to the Bymore? Oh, my God. It worked. They're here. Okay, grab Casey and get up here so we can take him out. Oh, Chuck, what are you crazy? Not very smart, Chuck. This is not how I do business. You start things on your own, you better be prepared to finish them on your own. Good luck. He hung up on me. What are you doing? Without us, he doesn't have a chance. He's going to start to panic, and then he's not going to be able to perform properly. Yeah, happens to lots of guys. Or so I hear. Besides, I'm kind of curious about what his plan is. This isn't part of the plan. Well, it's very, very bad. Please proceed directly to the home theater room. Find him. I would suggest the best way of getting to the home theater room is through the MP3 slash ink and toner aisle, but beware. You break it, you buy it. Hello, sir. The store's closed at the moment, but if you want to come back in the morning, we'll be open around 10 o'clock. <laughs> Signing his death warrant, you know that, don't you? Ye of little faith. No, this is crazy. I am going in. So am I. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you two to stand down. I don't like guns much, but when necessary, I will use them. Finally, we meet in an electronics store, which is different. No matter. When we last chatted, you mentioned a certain Agent Shaw. That's right. Because I'm the one who ended Shaw's life, not Devin Woodcomb. He was just a patsy. You took out Shaw. Mr. By Moore. In a nutshell, I mean, that's kind of what happened. Well, then, if that's true, you won't have any problem with Glenn and Ian here. Glenn and Ian? Sure. Well, you should know Glenn and Ian, Ian and Glenn. And if you take one more step, I will drop you. Fresh. Okay. okay, now I'm angry. I'm angry and in a great deal of pain. Fast. Something else you should know about me. I love guns. <laughs> 